Hey, I am Ray Willis from North Tulsa. Just kind of getting back from LA and getting back involved in the community myself. I feel you get you get people to choose something they wouldn't ordinarily choose when you allow them to choose it. What I like is that the conversation is actually happening. You know, for so long, things things of this nature were swept under Whoa. the rug to further entrap us in our mind, which is amazing. And, and I mean that in a sense. We live in, in our own maze of, of locking our power in the vault in which we was told we don't have the key to. What I hope is that we can raise the awareness because it looks cool. And, and how it look, when I feel it, it feel good. The past will repeat itself if we don't evolve mentally. And, and, and it feeling good, I'm actually able to see the results driven from what I've seen and felt. Not just in our thinking, but in our actual day-to-day -day habits. And what, what I hope and like and, and what I feel intrinsically is sometimes change go beyond things you can see. So now we're, we're coming up with more creative and abstract ways. I mean, if you don't necessarily experience something new, how can you grow in new ways? I'm Amy Miller. This is the Tulsa Ballet. We had the pleasure of witnessing some rehearsal of Jennifer Archibald's new piece, Breaking Bricks, and then hearing some courageous conversations around the piece and race relations in Tulsa. I think it's so important that we're telling these stories on the ballet stage because we don't hear them on a ballet stage. Occasionally you'll see them in a, in a um, small theater performance or something like that, but typically not on the big stage and not by a, a, a nationally renowned company like Tulsa Ballet. The documentary aspect of Breaking Bricks allowed myself and my videographer Guy Delancey to speak to local Tulsans, researchers, historians, reporters, and the more I interviewed these people, the more I realized that the stories became very similar. There was a thread between each of the conversations. The conversation would always circle back to the idea of Tulsa being segmented. There is a difference between Northern Tulsa and Southern Tulsa, and the people in Northern Tulsa didn't really interact with Southern Tulsans. If I had Tulsans tell me that you could go through life and really just keep to yourself and not really interact with other people in Tulsa, I thought that was definitely something that needed to be explored. It was our turn to do something about it. Why? Because we are an organization. At the end of the day, yes, we do entertain you. We are entertainers, but we have an obligation as part of our community to bring to the stage the issues that matter today on this earth while we are here.